am so grateful uh, to be saved in a day like today. Amen. And I tell you, I said before that this last quarter would be an exciting time. And it certainly is. I didn't know when God gave me the prophesy about it that I'd be uh, right in the middle of all of it. And Oh, my, they're doing all kinds of things and saying all kinds of things. I'm honored to be a preacher who is being persecuted because I believe the Bible. One of the things that no one is saying is that I am biblically uh, incorrect. Um, I, I, someone uh, said this in an article. I, I didn't know that they, they would do articles, and I've already spoken to the journalist, and she's going to meet with me. I didn't know that people would do articles on you and not call you. Amen. Do a piece on you and not call you or have 25 preachers and leaders in the community to call a press conference and gather together and say some things about you. And not one person says, I, I want you to know that this is what is going on. But I guess that's the times in which we live. And uh, uh, that was done to, 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 to Brother Wooden. And it's all right. Matter of fact, I kind of feel good, you know. Anytime it takes 25 people to stand up against one, I don't know what that says about the 25. Amen. I keep hearing ringing in my ear, if God be for us. Paul says, uh, what do I say to these things? John, put me on YouTube. If God be for me, then who can be against me? Praise the Lord. And here's what will happen. Time will tell. And we will see who's who. Hallelujah. If Yahweh is God, then serve him. If Baal be God, then serve him. But choose you this day who you will serve. Praise the Lord. My God, I, I have joy. Amen. I, I, you know, the, 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 they're suggesting... Um, one of the preachers is in the newspaper, and I called him. I gave him a courtesy that he didn't give me, and I will call him again. My dear friend, I respect Reverend Earl C. Johnson of uh, Martin Street Baptist. I think he's a smooth guy. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. Uh, but um, um, in the quote saying, staying home would be unprecedented and foolish given the nature and impact of this election, said Johnson. Our ancestors have fought too hard. For us to, uh, to, for us not to exercise our right to vote, end of quote. I agree with him 100%. Matter of fact, I didn't wait until the, the current occupier of the White House uh, occupied the White House to encourage us to vote. I've been saying for years that people died for us to have the right to vote. I'm glad we finally caught on. I say to the black public, welcome home. Please vote. But I did, but I do say cast an informed vote. Make politicians earn your vote. People say that uh, we read the ad and said, uh, say no more Obama. That's not true. The ad said, say no more to Obama. And what it was addressing was the agenda to redefine marriage. And you know who, who adopted the same strategy? who agrees with me, and they did what I did, what I've suggested that we do before I even said it, the LBGT community. Yeah. I think we ought to imitate them. You didn't, now, you never thought you had Brother Wooden say that we should imitate the LBGT community, but I think we should from a, strate from a strategic standpoint. From a strategic standpoint, the LBGT community turns out in force to celebrate the man who has been dubbed the nation's first gay president. That's what Newsweek calls our president. He's not gay, but I, I, I don't even like that, uh, that designation of him. It is, it, it is a striking change from last year when he was heckled for not supporting same-sex marriage. When he didn't support it, the LBGT community heckled him. 
at a gay rights, I don't call them gay, dinner last year in New York City when the president listed his homosexual friendly politics. Uh, he was heckled. Um, the hecklers shouted, marriage, marriage, marriage. They said what they wanted. That was their way of saying no more to what you're doing. Give us what we want. At a similar event Wednesday night in the Beverly Hills, in Beverly Hills, nearly a month after the president embraced homosexual marriage, there was no heckling. Instead, 600 supporters at the LBGT Leadership Council rose to their feet uh, and began to chant four more years. Now give them credit. When they didn't get what they wanted, they heckled. They made noise. They said, no more. When they got what they wanted, they said, four more years. We say four more years whether we get anything or not. That's my only point. I think that there is multiple, the, the interpretation that say no to the president means telling people how to vote is a false one. There's more than one way to say no more. But if you don't say nothing, saints, we will always be the last to be hired, first to be fired, highest, we, we, highest unemployment rate um, uh, in, the, in the country is always amongst us. Praise the Lord. Uh, violence amongst us. Voucher systems get cut out that affect us. If you don't say anything, you won't get anything. If that makes me crazy, I'm a crazy man. I think we settle for too little if all we settle for is skin color in any position. It's good to have skin color, but after, the, after there is skin color, there must be a performance. Now, if I'm if I'm if I am uh, Black America's new number one most hated enemy for believing that uh, that we are people too, and, and some of our concerns ought to be addressed, I guess I'll just be that person. But I'm but I'm right. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Say Amen. I'm I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be saved. And I'm, I'm excited about serving the Lord in the time of the great falling away. Everyone who is saved and know that you are and you are enjoying your walk with the Lord, would you just shout, I'm glad about it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, that's, that's, that's just good stuff. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Let me move on. We honor the God of the Bible for he is first in this place. He's our God. He's our peace. 